I want to talk about layouts in Unity, and by the end of this video, show you how to use them to their maximum advantage, and obviously write some code that'll improve upon that advantage. But why do I want to talk about layouts? Well, most developers I watch are constantly adding windows in their editor and then shifting them around as they go from doing one task to another. For example, they'll add a character into a specific location in their scene with the scene view nice and prominent. And then they'll open an animator tab to begin editing the character's animator. And that'll just be tabbed next to the scene view. And then they'll do something else and they'll add another tab to put next to that. Now, this ends up with the Unity editor window looking like one of those browser windows with a hundred of tabs open, most of which are not getting used anytime soon. And the layout is probably not optimal for any of those tasks that they're doing. They're just convenient. And that's the thing. If you want to open tabs in Unity, sometimes you have to go and find them in a special little window option. And you don't want to have to do that every time, so you just leave that tab open. Now, if you're feeling honest, comment below on how many tabs your Unity editor has open right now. And if you feel like one of these people that just has them there because you don't want to have to go and find them. Enter in layouts. Now, most are using this in a different way. They're basically opening this multi-tabbed nightmare and thinking, I don't want to have to do that again. So they save that tab nightmare as a layout. And then they have a default layout with just the bare minimum. And then they switch between each of these as they go along, usually going to the bare minimum and adding all the tabs back in until it becomes the nightmare. Now, this is not using layouts to its full potential. It's actually wasting your time as a developer. So let's fix it by thinking of layouts differently. What if you used different layouts for different tasks? If you're working on the scene 90% of the time, great, that can be your default layout with the scene view nice and prominent. If you're working on animators and animations, then let's have an animation layout. Thinking of profiling the game. Well, you don't really need your scene view open for that. We can have the game view and a profile view and call it our profile layout. I think you get the point. Now we can then tweak these layouts as we go and make them more efficient for the task we're actually doing at that point and just resave over that layout for that particular task. But why stop there? You see, I hear a lot of people go, well, I don't use layouts because it's in a submenu of a submenu and they don't want to have to switch through that. Well, we can code around this and let's do that now. Okay, so I've given myself a head start and I've got a tools folder under my editor folder and a class in here called the layout switcher tool. And that's just a static class where I'm going to be putting all this functionality. Now, the first method we're going to create is this get window layout path. Now, why are we doing this? Well, every time you create a layout in Unity, you're actually creating a file on disk for that layout. And what we need to do is we need to go and get those particular files and then load one up when we need it. And this is just because Unity doesn't give us any nice API call that says load this particular layout. So we're going to hack around it and use some reflection, which they probably just don't want us to do, but we're going to do it anyway to give us this nice little switcher option. So the first thing we want to do is we want to get to where these actual layouts are. And that's easy enough to do if you use the Unity Preferences folder. This is a quick little helper function if you need that. And we're going to append a few folders onto that. We're going to append layouts, obviously, because we're after the layouts. And then there's another folder under this for the mode that you're currently in. And we can get that by using mode service current ID. Now, once we're there, we're obviously going to want to check that that directory exists, because if it doesn't exist, we're going to just basically return no. You've just installed Unity or something like that. You need to go and create some layouts. So we'll just do a quick check there. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to copy and paste this big bit of code that basically takes that directory and gets all those layout files. Now, it just so happens those files all finish with the extension WLT. So we just use link to basically return all the files that have that particular extension. And then because we're looking for a particular layout with a name, we're just do a, going to do a comparison with that file path to see does it actually compare to this name? Yes, it does. Great. That's the path we're interested in. Return that. OK, so the next method we're going to create is the open layout, because obviously we need to open the layout. That's what we're here for. So we're going to do that by first getting the path using the function that we just created down here. 
And then the next thing we're actually going to do is we're going to use our reflection. And here's the code for that. And let me explain what that does. I'll just pick up the library that I'm interested in. And what this does is we know there's a class called window layout under Unity Editor. So I'm going to get that type. And I know in that particular class, there's a method called load window layout. So I'm going to use method info to basically get that method from this class and then use the signature, that's the parameters that go into it, to basically set up being able to use this particular method. Now, word of warning here, Unity could change their internal code and this code might not work in future. So you might have to hunt down what this actual function looks like afterwards and then change the code to make it work. Now, the last thing in this code is we actually want to invoke it because obviously we need to do that open. And this is where we do that. We take the method info and we invoke it with the arguments. And here we can see the path that we're passing in is the first argument and we don't care about the second one. We can leave that as false. And we'll return the result. Did it open? Did it not? You'll see when you try and invoke it. Now, that's all well and good, but I hear you scream, how do we get this to run? These are only two functions. Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create shortcuts. And here's the first one. Now a shortcut is kind of like a menu item without actually having to go to each menu and pull it down. It basically assigns a shortcut in Unity for this particular method. And we give it an ID name, in this case, layout switcher slash layout one. And then we give it the key code we're interested in. In this case, just the one on the keyboard. And we can add modifiers if we want. And we want to, in this case, we're gonna use the Alt modifier. So you press Alt, press one, and it will run this particular method. And that will run open layout. And we have a name in our layouts called default. And that's the one that will get opened when we press the number one on our keyboard. Now, just a note, these aren't set in stone, these shortcuts. You can then go into your preferences and change this and assign it to something completely different. So if you've got people working with you that don't particularly like this shortcut, they can still change it themselves if they so wish. But let's add in some more because otherwise it's kind of pointless if we just open one particular one. We'll add in three more and we have an animation, a profile and an audio layout. And they all use obviously two, three, and four with a different ID each time. Now to extend this further, and what I have in my own tools is a settings provider. So I don't actually set strings in these open layouts on the menu items. I actually use a settings provider that gets all the layouts in and then enables me to assign them in these particular shortcuts. If you've got a team of animators and a team of designers with lots of different layouts, you'll find that becomes really essential if you're gonna have a tool like this. As you can see now, whatever task hat I'm wearing, my editor layout is appropriate for that situation. Let me know in the comments what layouts you have for what tasks and which tabs they include. And if you don't feel much like commenting, well, there is another tools video on screen now to take you down the YouTube recommended rabbit hole.